They love a good CT sided start. Nerds at the back end of Garage here. Will spot out the first player. Not able to land anything just yet. I'm not sure whether that smoke is fully intentional there, but all the same, they've not been able to do too much with it just yet. Nerds is the first to get caught off. Some decent damage traded back from the CT side, but they are losing members. This is not looking good. Kicks in the next to fall. Only three left for Heroic now is really not a great look, but as said, the damage was there and they're able to now capitalize on that back to an even situation. 3v3. All goes literally quiet as well. Nikodos playing towards Vent. Buddha with a bomb in hand. Finds himself in garage. That's a real decision to be made here. Where do I go? We're safe. Definitely not in through main. That's now bomb spotted and information gained about what they're trying to set up. Heroic will know this is trying to be a top side here. Buddha needs to be careful. A couple of fights going to go through. DGT going to find Nikodos. That'll give them room as well. Shush. Doesn't want to overfight, but he's been flanked. Yeah, they're everywhere right now. Not really much that he can do. To be fair, it's, it's fair credit that he doesn't go down there to that heaven player, to be honest with you. Can't stop them from taking the A bomb site, though. Digits are ah, going in, and with that little goose coming in, and now the frag. Most certainly, Tessus has got to save, you would assume, but he's walking right into the trap. Easy pickup for Max in the end. So, 90 going to take the pistol. Wielded by Nikodos. What have Heroic got in terms of response? This has to be an emphatic one. Kicks out to the flames. Kicks out burning and he's lucky to stay alive. <laughs> oh yeah, that is so close to the wire. Nerd's going to find the spam on Buddha as a response. But goodness me, kicks out. Yeah, maybe eyes off the ball. Maybe flash. Difficult to tell. That could have cost them an awful lot. You can see Young IGL first really, really big, potentially winning tournament for them. I don't think they were expecting too much out of the major, but this one, you know, you are missing uh, a lot of the top five, so you really could get away with it. Nerves getting to him. Tessus on high. An easy peasy double on the setup, and well, Nikodos is just around the corner, so it feels like if they approach the ramp area, the round will end with it. DGT and Max being where the bomb is at. Was the single door heard open? Was it blasted open? We didn't quite catch that, but DGT, he's managed to find space for the plant. This gets a bit freaky now. Where is Max at? You know, it, it, it's a really weird pose plant they've got to deal with. Shadow might be spotted here as well. DGT and Max both combined. 2v3. Hang on a second. I might give this a little bit of a look in. This might be possible. If DGT can hit a shot here, there's a world. He's going to get one. Thrusts. Now Max into a one versus two. Time to shine, but bomb planted back sight. They're going to come around as well. Won't really catch anybody just yet. Nerd spotted. Kicksand could be caught on the cross, but he's going to find the head. Very, very close. 9Z nearly converting a 2v5, but it is going to be heroic. He would look pretty good as well, but I'm not so sure here on 9Z whether he's had that same sort of impact. Axto Will is going to get fine too. Shush and Kicksand get caught napping. Down they go. Pants around their ankles. They had no idea that Max even get in there. The smoke that they dropped in towards main. Or a ruse, Max disrespects it, pushes his way through. That's now the A site under their control. One towards back garage, two towards CT. Heroic might just be kind of innately calling this already. I mean, that's so insane. That's like Max has just walked in. Felt like Nikodos had the angle. Yeah. He's been sat there all round, which I'm pretty sure that he has been towards back garage like that. Patch those up fast because this is. Somewhat problematic. Picking up the one round. Kicks on Nerds, Tess all in different angles to try and hold the extremities. Meanwhile, it is heaven that has become compromised. Will they be ready for that? Shush with a push out through mini in strikes. Nerds, it's all coming together for Heroic here. And there goes Tess creeping down below. He's got a good idea that there's another player up top as well. They have held very strongly here on that Heroic side. Much better red. Not over just yet. We know 9Z are not foreign to bringing these rounds as close as humanly possible. Nerds, though, no regard for the spray coming his way. DGT with 15 seconds and a bomb to recover. Absolutely no way he gets this one. And, well, you know, not the nicest spray down there, but... Uh... Slightly more impressive Orpa, at least the one that can put up those numbers. Averaging 1.19 over the last three months in a struggling 9Z squad is... Pretty damn good. Whereas Nick and Oz is not always been the easiest run of form. Swing. On towards the site as Buddha and Max combine. Shush and Nerd's going to get caught. In a matter of moments, they're actually tempted to save already. 
Oh, definitely now. Nika does the next one to fall. Tess is going to try and be a bit of a hero here. Actually, might just look like a battle for survival as that bomb goes down. Good reposition to find the frag at the very least. So again, save very much on the cards, but I don't know that it really matters. You know, Tessus is here, uh, a problem for them. Would even say, oh, I was going to say, could be a problem. Kicks in though, the wherewithal to find that frag and they now at his feet. Lovely stuff. 9Z hold on the T side of move. The most CT side of map in the pool currently is not bad. The UD41 kicks and trades. Might be able to make that work. And AK going to be recovered. Ooh. Ooh, Nika Dawes on the Deagle. One more. No, not quite, but it is set up. And here we are. Heroic getting more in the face of their opponents, right? Thanks to the half by Thanks to the pistols. Gap in the smokes. Leaves it down to just Mr. Buddha. Hero of the previous game. We highlighted him here for 9Z. Can he keep the level up? 1v3 in total. Should be able to get this bomb planted here. An attempt to the spam, though, is nice and clean from Tessis. I gave Buddha a bit too much credit. They will indeed steal away around there on the heroic side. And again, leaning forward, showing us what they are capable of. Yeah. We know they have those individuals. Let's see them. They've just been a little too passive, a little too timid. But yeah, they really can come alive, man. So hopefully we can see a bit of that with the rifles. You know, yeah. we'll pull this up. Get even more aggressive. That's what I say. Get a lobby crunch going. A couple of glills and a Mac 10. This is a winnable round for Roy. Win this. You can shatter that T-side economy. Oh, it looked good for a second. I thought they would maybe get the drop on, but Nerd's not smoked off for whatever reason, I suppose. Trying to catch them off guard with a quick burst out. That mini smoke is part and parcel to an A hit. It unfortunately backfires for 9Z and yeah, Nerds. Easy for him to protect his teammate. 9Z have to reapproach in towards Tessus here, it looks like. Hidden away. Timing gonna be everything on this. They're not checking him at the moment. There he goes. Takes the head of DGT, spotted out the second. And just play it patiently. Call on some support. Although I don't think he's necessarily confirmed the position of the second. feel like he's just assuming there is another player. But where is he at? So Martinez could get a pretty big frag here. Not going to happen. Wow. Tess is so clean. Around that save, Galil. And, and this is going to give an opportunity for Heroic to start to pull forward. So how, how do we feel here for Heroic, right? Obviously, uh, pulling off a bit of a comeback, and that's just a big part of that, actually. He gets himself another multi-frag round, but... The only real caveat to that point is that Heroic feel like they are starting to warm up. Heroic do this occasionally. They take a little bit of time to get going, and then they get in towards games and they become unstoppable. Ball! Nuts. I'll come back to that point in a minute as they close out the round. But yeah, like I was saying, Heroic aside, we saw this happen at the RMR. We saw this happen at the closed as well. So just sort of faking things out a little. Trying to isolate this frag. Nika does. Dangerous to reveal himself here. They are all around. I don't think he quite recognizes it. Yeah, Mac 10 takes his head clean off. Shoosh. Going to catch the business end of the AK. Just three remaining for Heroic right now. Not looking good at all. Tessus trying to be the hero. Creeping round. They line up for him. He's dropped the bomb as well. He could get a bit more out of this, but denied that opportunity. Still time being bought. Kicks and up on roof like what is going on where are these heroic players absolutely wild positions right now for the ct side this position out of kicks on is so strong as well staying up towards roof anybody tries to reposition towards silo he's got their number but if they push in towards single door which is very common in this sort of angle he might be able to catch them oh my god this is so precarious as he makes his way down the ladder no it's tagged not quite dead he kicks on does he even think to clear this while he gets tagged up? And that'll cost him and DGT will close it. Brilliant way for 9Z to find a slight lead at the turn of the half. But can they continue it after the break? They didn't quite look themselves. Let's see when they're heading on towards their T side when they can set the tempo whether things will change. They're going to pop towards A. Yeah, not wasting any time at all. Martinez will find that opener, but it's a flurry of frags at the moment. Martinez is still on these jewels, though, looking good. Oh, it's a fight, and he runs out of ammo there at the end, I believe. Shush will take it. Still, though, Tessa's stuck outside and ticking off areas 
We're heroic or not. Yeah. So a bit of trial and error here. I think they're more prepared for this than you would think. They have the bomb, right? That's the big thing that's going to help them. That should have spotted Tessess. Could be in trouble, but he is the trouble. Finds one. Thrusts Buddha into a 1v2. This is the guy our highlights coming in towards this game. Let's see what he's got for us. This fight could be everything. Tags on towards Tessess. Can't drop him. Can't find him. And cannot close it. Tessess, an incredible 4K. With no kind of open response, basically, out of heroic. Always towards our side. Yeah, I mean, Big flash here as well. He actually gets the cross. Oh, yeah, charging him fast. We got to go straight into the action. Looking so good for 9Z. Wow. Three in their favor is pretty much all you need, isn't it? We do get one back, but heroic, what can you really do from here? They've not got control of A. They've not done significant damage to any of the remaining players. It's not a great look. And again, something kind of wild from heroic just. Flying in. Yeah. Let's give that a go. 9Z was super ready for that. Again, I think that is in the 9Z wheelhouse. Fast, aggressive, guns up. Max looking to end the round here and now. He's going to get timed on by Nika Dawes, but still wins the fight. Looking for another round that corner. He's savvy to a second player. Where is he at? Here's him coming, but can't deny him the kill. Kicks in then. A small, small window for him to get this bomb down. And he knows that it's too small, in fact. First full buy and 9Z take it relatively easily. Says a lot, only the two casualties. Is down below. He is, of course, one of the sneakiest players in the game right now. A very traditional lurker, and this is going to be disastrous. They have not considered the fact at all. He'll creep round. Oh, just bothered at the last second. Will he make a difference? Oh, he will. Guazo holding cleanly for three. And he actually brings it in favor of 9Z. I thought the round, you know, would be done there and then. Two kills for Nerds. Let's go, B. But no, denied. That's a brutal way. For that one to slip away from them. Tessa's getting them behind. He might actually catch DGT here. But no, he'll catch Kicksan. Buddha on the coverage. Stops main being a vulnerability. And ninth on the board. Nerds had the play, had the round in the grasp of his hand, and it slips away. That's got to hurt. That really has got to hurt. Only getting one there is not good enough, but that triple is monstrous. It's half buys. It's when they've broken economies, you know, rifle round-wise. I think 9Z have looked like the much better team. A big, big need to kick things off, Max. Oh, I mean, so risky to go swing it in there, but it pays off. Two for him. DGT down below, surely going to be able to find one as well. Yes, he does. And they've done it again. 9Z coming out on top of the first exchange. This is a beautiful play towards CT. Because Heroic slows things down, it, it gives them so much coverage. Look up towards ramp, nobody showing face. They actually go for a push as well, which is why DGT wraps all the way down to a secret. Also, pushes through, gets up towards radio, and, and nobody's there. So he's like, right, well, they've got to be outside. It's the only place left, outside of the lobby. Pick your poison, take your 50. 50, shush, that's a great reaction. And maybe ever so slightly an over peak Buddha spotted one. He's beckoning over rotation and support, but Nerds might not have spotted him. Nerds is dancing between the two angles. If he gets the peak effectively, he should find him. And he actually tags him through main as well. Shush. Last man alive in a 1v2. Does have the bomb. For 10 seconds, doesn't even have the time. I mean, he's got to go. He's got to go, go. He should have had his knife out earlier. He's just about. No. Oh, I don't know. That's close. That is close. Oh, it's yeah. Wow. No reason. It's not enough, though. It's not enough. Yeah. They get the bomb, but I mean, what does that really matter at this point, right? 9Z moving up to 11. The very least, that's something. The bomb plant does facilitate a buy here. The small incremental positives at a heroic, but they are falling quite rapidly behind. Kicksan, that is so audacious, and he gets away with it. We'll find Max, and DGT is surely going to be blindsided, and he will. Gets caught by Shush, this is falling apart rapidly. Absolutely wild approach from heroic, but maybe what they needed, throwing some madness into the mix. Big kill from Huazo, though, up top. He's ready for Kixon somewhere, but doesn't quite know where to look for him. Goes flying around the corner. Maybe thought he was still down below. Buddha not close enough to find a trade, but again, might be able to catch some players off with this sneak out from heaven. Long range spray down, difficult to land. Martinez are all alone, 30 seconds. Four to get through. I have a feeling he should be fine here. 
And he will. I heal safe. The orb is alive. That is better than nothing. You don't have a lot left in those back pockets, though. Wallet is mighty thin. So for Heroic, this is going to be the most important round they have had so far this entire map. Oh, straight through a molly. Uh, not the best, but they make it work. Kixon ahead of it. Takes out the hero of previous rounds. Martinez are down below already, though, is certainly unexpected. And that pauses them for just a second. Buddha flying in, and there it is, punishing that aggressive play style when Heroic can call a freeze. Let's relax, see what they go for, and find the heads. Beautiful play here from Heroic, and adapting very, very well to the 9Z responsive protocols. I've got to give them a lot of credit because they're actually changing the way they're playing now, Heroic. Put up a very decent map so far, but they give it... Now we basically have two decisions. 13-11 for one of the two teams, or overtime required in map number one, and Nicholas going to get caught. Max, not take any prisoners out the gate here. But Tessa's the Lancer back. Oh, he's going in for a bit more as well. Playing with fire here. There's two round the back of these smokes. Hello, running through the Molotov. What is he doing? That is mental from Tessus, but he makes it work. Shoots finding Martinez. Tessus keeps <laughs> going, swapping guns and eliminating the vast majority of 9Z Buddha. Solo here. He knows where Tessus is at, absolutely, because he's made quite the name for himself here in round number 23. Nerd footsteps can be heard, but my God, that is a fast peak. Heroic first to hit map point. Are we going to be extending the game? Or will it be over here in heartbreaking fashion for 9Z? Oh, it's, a, it's a ridiculous round for kind of all the wrong reasons, but all the right reasons. This is what I want to see. This is how you, you know, put 9Z on the back foot. Some noise being made, but it's just hot air right now. Nerd coming towards him. How many can he get? Two. That is good. That is well played. And Buddha spotted. So it's a fair trade off. Four versus three, with one being known, makes the job of heroic so much easier. Martinez. A glass already broken. Oh, 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 God. He's fallen in and out of the window. That could cost the game. And he will absolutely blame himself for a moment like that. Kixon is on high here, looking for the next frag. Buddha ready for him, takes his head clean off. So we're not done just yet. 25 seconds. B bomb site seems to be where they want to go. And we know that it's clear. They have a good idea that it's clear as well. Nobody around. Open plan and a tough retake for survival here on Nuke. Oh, no Utah as well. This is the biggest part about it. Famas, we can speak whatever about. It's the lack of util and the fact that Nikonos has caught Buddha in rotation. What have you got for us, King? A Famas and a 1v3. It's not the easiest situation. He's being held. He's being pop shot at. He'll find Shush. And now maybe giving himself an opportunity. One man in towards radio. One man double door. Tap on towards the bomb. But a dead man walking. Tessus will close it. Heroic. Steal away 90s map pick at the brink. And the dying embers of map number one, they find it in their favor. They go back to what they know, what they love. Nobody there on the receiving end of it, though. But they will get some deep mid control at the expense of A. And maybe a read from Heroic, a great little setup to deal with mid presence, really. Quick A execute coming out. A failed stairs smoke, mind you. That's not the first time I feel like I've seen a failed Heroic smoke. Quasso holding behind here as Kixan does not check his angles and a clean frag there to be fair to him. So we'll see now looking good. The aggression on the retake even before the bomb has gone down. 9ZR going for it here and the kills keep on coming. It's just Tessus. He's backstabbed. Quasso with a 3K and 9Z with the perfect way to open up. On AK, one Galil for kick sanity. Prior has a bit of util, but util was something that Heroic lack in this situation. No bomb plan on either of the first two rounds has left them a little bit tempered in terms of the econ. First kill going to come the way of Martins. Looks for a second, he gets a dink as well. Oh, Lasso playing up close to the MP9. Gets his head ripped off his shoulders as Nikonos Art is back. But Martins just sticks around a little too long, and he'll be caught too. Numbers advantage for Heroic. Round on. Some of these shots out of 9Z are just ridiculous. What is going on? They're as yet to get the bomb down, 9Z. They put 
this solid wall up. The best defense is a good offense, I think is most certainly. They've got their notepad, and that's all it says. Tessis creeping up through connector here. A difficult angle to beat, though, DGT. Ready for that, and a double for him. All down to kicks and no HP to work with. A 9Z hold the line. Again, despite... Yeah, some real wacky kills there, but... Speaking of wacky, kicks on up in the face of DGT. Gonna catch him off. Buddha is in a hell of a lot of trouble. Trying to find fights, trying to stay alive. Desperately, he's not given the luxury. Kicks on gonna catch him. This is falling apart as that bomb goes down. They could be tempted to save. They might actually just call it. I don't think they want to give this a go. I don't blame them. But they might not be given the luxury of saving either. Kicks on does get caught on the swing. Shush heard an own quantity as well. Max trying to stay alive, trying to make sure he doesn't drop the AK into the wrong hand. Good thing, I guess, my 9Z is the important gun to stay alive. The AK and the AWP. That's all that we really care about. They can reinvest in the right call. The pistol's going to try and find a way, if they can, to facilitate or kill. Here, that is so scrappy. Out of shush. A real labored spray. Does not pay off, Martinezza. Right idea, right execution. Oh. Tessus gets caught. These are the rounds that make us feel a little bit precarious about the setups. Sometimes when you've got the much better firepower, you just overthink these situations. That's what we're seeing now. Nerds has been spotted. Buddha trying to stay alive. We're going to get caught. What is happening? Two versus four. Bomb on the back of kicks and he's got to try and call a masterclass to save them from embarrassment here in round number six. Nikodos thinking about peeking in. This is where the orc might come in handy. Oh, I think that barrel might just have been spotted so they can kind of confirm that he is indeed here. Martinez off angle, shots missed by both sides, but it's created enough of a distraction for the bomb to get out, but denied the plan. Buddha will indeed win the round with that frag and 9Z have done the impossible. What a round out for Martinez as well. Yeah. You've got to say, you know, presence in the B-apps. He doesn't find a kill, but maybe scope heard. Patience, the name of the game. Max wants a fight here. Could get a little frisky over there. Oh, Wasso though with a double swing. Nerds had moved in, picked up Max, but it's Wasso who keeps on going. Will be denied eventually, but he actually manages to get some damage off there. Onto Nerds, will you take that in the back all the same. Nerds keeps going, it's a good job he's alive because the kills will keep coming for him. Oh my goodness, having to do this all by himself, an ace required. It is this last kill, I think, I fear, that will be the hardest. He fakes out on the death cam a bit of a run towards B. Buddha, therefore, drop back from that push-in that could have done some damage. That will allow the bomb down, the reset, the starve of information. And for a second here, Buddha thinks it's B. Oh, no. Figures out that it's A. Back he will go, but Nerds is, is in a sneaky little position here. Sandwich as a post-plant <laughs> position? I don't know if you really expect that, to be honest. So Buddha will see if he goes... Barreling on in, as they are liable to do. Nerds could catch him. Molotov denies one spot away. But we have to cleanly check our angles here if we are Buddha. Bomb not planted for Nerds. And the timing comes in. How about that? The ace clutch out from Nerds to give Heroic the half by win. And what a time to come alive, even Nerds. So ever so reliable, ever so consistent in his fragging ability, and he finds a round out of nothing the same way Martinez just did round prior. But that one, arguably even more impressive. Half by an ace and a clutch to close it to. And to make matters just a little bit better, the orb scooped up and saved. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And even though the orb gets absolutely no run out in towards this map, he's giving this other chance. Oh my god, Max fights fire with fire in terms of his aggression. Kicks and picking up the big green. And making it sing. Max and DGT drop. This is carnage in the server. This is a real fight. I talked about unexpected positions in the previous round. This might be another one of them. They're creeping forwards. Utility to work with. Oh, he's going. He's going. Good timing. Finds the first. And now they know where he's at. Molotov will come round. Oh, yeah. Got to play that cleanly. And there's no way he makes it across. We've bought some time for Martinez to get in. Here he is again. Mr. Nertz in for the clutch. Five in the previous rounds. Only two here. Should be easy enough for him. And he has slipped the net oh. ever so slightly. Oh, oh wait, my please. goodness. He's, he's got to be the sneakiest player in the game right now, honestly. How does he get himself into these spots? And he's not even going A. He's going back towards B. 
easy frag here on Tomato. There's a no! He checks it. He checks it. Spidey sense is tingling to give 9Z the fifth. Oh, man. If he had got A, that is the single smartest play we've seen all day at the very least, but in a long, long while. He just doubles back. He just doubts himself ever so slightly. Too smart, man. Yeah. yeah. He's overthinking the situation. You know, yeah. my pea brain self would have just ran A, but... Yeah, when me and you were uh, at the major in the crowd, whenever it got picked, everyone just started booing. <laughs> so, yeah. But then it has, like, the highest play rate on, on face. Yeah. Martinez, he's been putting his hours in to hit a flick like that. A big opener for 90 to just solidify themselves a bit of a lead moving into the second half. They have fallen flat to these low buys in the past. Not looking to be the case here. However, again, HP bars running low. Flash has come round. They've got him trapped in towards Sandwich here, but you got to be careful. Swinging round. Don't want to give them too many fights. Tessus, the three in total. Backing off with that bomb. And he may well not overthink things. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, we're, guys, <laughs> we're just keep, keep it simple. I don't think 9Z are going anywhere. But he does manage to land the frag nonetheless. And now maybe he can reset the game against Buddha. How low he is, that's the real thing that worries me. Yeah, and again, it's another very simple little thing from Heroic here. I don't know if it's maybe an idea that they've come into 1v1s with. Plant seemingly for one area and then just play in a completely different spot that arguably isn't that good for denying a defuse. This one's slightly better than Nertz's. Not a lot of time left. Molly onto the bomb. That might just be it, yeah. to be honest with you. There's a tap. Ooh, I don't know. A little risky from Tessus. Maybe could have gotten on the bomb there, but, you know, he runs away a bit early. Either way, Buddha had also run off. I think if he wanted to fully, fully, fully sacrifice, he could have got in at the end of the molly, but that is... And look at the information Buddha's got here. Wrapping all the way through TC apartments. And he spotted the bomb. Oh, my God. One in towards top mid spotted. One in towards spawn. Oh, my God. He can get both here. In towards mid. And he will... Tessus and Nerds sleeping. 5-7 on the close, spots his lines. This is chaos already. Yep, they're going to try and react by just pummeling in towards the eight bomb sign. So far, so good. DGT with a big trade there. Martinez is still alive. The back end of triple here, but killed off by Shu. Shu goes for a crazy push through, trying to gain some space, trying to just spread themselves out. Where have they gone? Says Kicks, and he doesn't really know, and now they know Shu is at CT. They've got to come to him, though. He's trying to play. Oh, no. Get around the corner. Oh, my goodness. He's trapped. He's trapped. Double spray down. He can't find it. Cut nowhere near. They were so ready for that fight, of course. And 9Z will get it done. What a push in from behind. And again, you forget who they are. Are ready for a move like this, in fact. They've seen it before. There is no fooling us, Max. Swings around, still going to be very difficult for him. He's all alone at the moment. He's just trying to buy time for those rotations, and it's not fully confirmed that they are making their way over. Tessus holds out for a flank, and that is so well played by Heroic that, yes, it could be a possibility, but not fully giving the game away, right? Leaving the CTs, guessing. Buddha moving in, take Scout, and that will be that, a save for the final round. Oh, well, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. They lost the sight, they smoked out got to be a B hit and it might just be round over before it's even gone going. Nerds has got a free kill here. Ooh. We know that Buddha's the only one around. Knife? No. Okay. Gonna take the kill. I was excited for a knife, but that's fair enough. Either way, DGT out towards uh, short here. Can't really do an awful lot to stop them. Yeah, the utility wasn't there, but they were ready for a fight at short. 5v3, usually safe here, but saving is not an option. Smoke goes deep. Max gets caught. And that's probably the tail end of it. MP9. And an AWP. Make that just an AWP in a 1v5. Martinezer, what have you got? Any consolation kills to your name would be nice. Good for the stats, but I don't think he'll even be given that. Up close and personal towards short. One remains. And shush. Should catch him. Doesn't though. Because Martinezer keeps up his impressive form. I'm going to get himself another. With a highlight reel at times, this guy. Maybe tempered off. 6-6, six, six, all tied square at the tail of the half. Who will take the lead after the break? There is no kit available here for Heroic. Class already for a fight to come in by the window as well. Max holding the flank. They seem super prepared for the Heroic response in this pistol round. Absolutely love 
what we are seeing here. Max, Ooh. as close to his monitor as possible, but timing will always get the better of you. Nurse's patience pays off. Tess is trapped in towards the window, but maybe he's not even going to be needed oh. here. Oh my goodness. Super clean stuff from Shush. And that's got to be all she wrote. It's Shoes in with three for the round. Close on the defuse. But close will do it. Yeah, that's a great, great pistol. Like, what a response to the heroic as well, right? You know, very quickly, a very simple A take coming through from 9Z. They pop out, smokes go down, bomb goes down, nice and easy. And heroic know that if we just slow things down, if we just play to our game and play for the numbers, we know we can win this. They trade effectively, but also they're hitting their shots. What is it going to be? You know, is it? A couple guys. Is it the whole team? Are they going B? Are they going at, you know, they are really starved of the information, but a nice little response. Will they get caught doing it? Damage doesn't come in. Tess says a kill for him. Nurts has managed to find one as well on the backside here with a bit of spam. So yeah, getting a bit wild, getting a bit wild. And 9Z unfortunately being slowly picked apart. DGT. Ah, oh, if you've been more open on the angle, might have got a frag there, but unfortunately not. How it goes, Buddha discovered, eliminated. As you can see, allows the rest of the team to crunch in. He's also in a really weird spot. Hassal ready for a fight, but he doesn't know where it's going to come from. Shush, meanwhile, a toll booth. Smoke going down. Get that nade rolling in. Oh, God. Yeah, the molly reached him. He didn't quite bank on that. And Martinez, are finding his kill, has brought the round back in favor of 90, back into contention. Nerds close to the action. I think they're going to know about him here. Flash comes in. It's ineffective for Nerds. He says thank you very much, but still not enough. They lost a kill uh, in the interim there. Heroic have to save. It's actually a great little Utah setup as well. A bit of consistency and you can spiral into success. That's what Heroic did to close up map level one. Oh, Tessas gets caught. Barton Asia is still a man possessed. He's still putting up the numbers. 18 to 9. You can feel it. Tension in the air mid looks to be the next line of attack three flashes raining on in to try and isolate the kills but it has gone south oh no not looking good at all dgt suddenly alone they were uh, in the leads in mm. theory and it has fallen apart heroic read them like a book fragged them like it was nothing GGT eliminated by Nerds and double digits for Heroic. Oh, this is now getting out of the realms of possibility bit by bit for 9Z. They're falling further and further behind. And, you know, at times you really got to feel for Martin Azer. This guy, tooth and nail, is trying to claw this side into success. But after early scrappages, especially after the last round, they have to count themselves a little lucky. No. Oh. oh no, that's so unfortunate on the timing. Just gets bested, but Nika does. With a trademark flick. Oh, the second. It's close, but not quite. Three versus three. Kills all over the shot once again. 50 seconds. The position that I am keeping my eye on is that of Shush. Oh my Especially God. now that they have wrestled for the advantage. He creeps out, finds the kill, denies the bomb plant. Oh my God, how has that been allowed to happen? And Nika does readjusts to find. 11, two more to go. Oh my God, a weird way to end it as well. Shushing the back lines through Palace. Gets the all important kill though. Denies the bomb going down. Denies that potential of 9Z putting a timer above Heroic's head, putting that pressure on the clock of a retake. And then of course, bit by bit, the... Keep your eyes on that minimap. They're left guessing. Nika does immediately rings off a shot. There is a window here, a solid one, in fact. And yeah, getting in is going to be difficult. Nika does, he recognizes that he could be alone, takes a passive stance, and it pays off. Tessus with a spam through the smoke as well, going to deny that bomb plant. Big nade looking good from Heroic to hold the line here. Very well played, very well recognized what was coming their way. They will concede the site and the bomb plant, but they have found themselves the numbers. Another man spotted. In comes the rest of the cavalry as Tessus leads the vanguard. He will indeed be the first to go down. DGT keeps them coming. Tech Nine's on top. M4 retrieve now as well. Could get very oh. dangerous. Swastow keeps the dream alive. Two more remain. Nika Dawes and Kixan. An AWP in the mix. Kixan's going to have to do a lot of the work here then. Leading from the front, but it is not going to happen for him. Nika Dawes also taken out a 9Z. 
with the pistols, two men down. <laughs> Get the round. You love to see, you really do. Had another, Wassal's had a round there as well, hasn't he? My God, the unkillable man, the unmovable fortress in towards bench. They just could not find a way to clear my position. Shoosh. In at Ninja, and then Nerds at Firebox. It's an interesting setup, but it might just work for them. Touchdown flash. Ah, denied away for anything else, but Nerds hidden. Just needs one, man. Two HP. If you can find one kill, like deny the bomb plant, maybe, that would be the best. But as I say, sneaky guy comes in for a frag. Buying a bit of time, doing the best that he can, despite being on 2 HP. You know, a stray nade, straight gust of wind would have taken him down there. But as I say, he's created space, he's created doubt in the minds of 9Z. Bomb hits the deck. 15 seconds to pick it up and find the frags. Not looking good here for 9Z. Just keep your eyes on that bomb, really, if you are heroic. Seven seconds. They actually managed to retrieve it, but the plan is denied again. And the round falls south. Heroic hitting 12 and threatening. The 2-0 victory. Yeah, all comes down to this. Martinez, some uncharacteristic misses from him. Actually, costly. If he finds that kill on the right side, guy of CT probably gets the bomb down. But, I mean, it's very easy for us to make these kind of predictions with the benefit of hindsight. What we do know is that... Looking very, very good, but... Yeah. It's, it's close, isn't it? You know, 9-0. He's just a bit... thing, is that... The get the econ rolling. A lot of these buys have not looked good. Kixon capitalizing on that here. The kills rolling in and the game might just be over, sir. Oh, Martinez doesn't pull the trigger either. Down he will go. A flawless one to finish it. And heroic survive here in Chengdu. It will, of course, be 9Z. Uh, we wave goodbye to them. One of our first teams to get knocked out as well. It's difficult. It is very, very difficult. But at the same time, looking good from Heroic. No, it's commiserations. It has to be said over towards the likes of 9Z. They had their moments. They had their kind of points where we liked what we were seeing. That start a new, basically nuke all the way up until what? The final four rounds, maybe? We were loving what we were seeing.